Good evening, everybody. Tonight's video is going to be rather short and sweet. I'm going to talk about how I think the update has changed base defense. I see a lot of comments um, in the chat about how defense is a joke now, like it's even in the podcast. War Commander said they wanted to make it more balanced where good defenses can win and good attacks can win, you know, so nobody has 100% of everything, whether it be attacks or defense, but most of what I've seen in chat is that people are saying it's even easier to attack now. And I will say, if you have an entire platoon of helicopters, it's very hard to defend against that. <laughs> very hard. But, I'm just going to look at my base and how I've changed it, and this isn't very tried. So, this is all going to be on my speculation as to how, based on how War Commander has said the update has changed the unit strengths and weaknesses, this is what I think will be a success. Now, as you can see, I have changed a few things. I have put my helicopters in my defense, in my helipad. I've changed the vehicles that are in my war factory. Um... My barracks is still about the same, but there's not too much you can do about that. Now, my turrets, I've changed a lot. Most people, before the update, ran pretty much all machine gun turrets. I ran one railgun, one howitzer, and three machine gun turrets. Or, four machine gun turrets. <laughs> I can't maths. Anyway, so I just recently changed it to where I am running a flak turret, two real guns, two machine gun turrets, and a howitzer. The reason for this is before the update, machine gun turrets were your go-to turret. They did a decent amount of damage to all units, including air units, uh, fixed wing helicopters. They really decimated infantry. They didn't do a ton of damage to heavy vehicles, but they did a decent amount. And they did a fair amount of damage to light vehicles. Now, though, they are specifically geared for gunning down infantry. Now, I don't think they you can actually see strengths or weaknesses on turrets. You couldn't before. No, you can't now. Which is really bothersome. I would love to have more exact numbers on all these units. I would love to see, like, armor points. Because we know that... Um... Like, infantry has increased damage against helicopters, but how much is that damage increased? And do vehicles, like, so tanks are very effective against light vehicles, so do they have extra armor towards light vehicles? I would like to see those numbers, but we can't see them. We can't even see exactly what different tours are strong against, we just have to go on what they say. Anyway, machine gun tours now do very little damage to air units, like, minuscule, almost not even worth it. So, there's not really any sense in putting a ton of machine gun turrets, since really they're only geared toward infantry now. They also do well against light vehicles, specifically S-13s, since their health has been reduced. A single machine gun turret can take out a couple S-13s fairly easily. No problem there. The howitzer I have kept because its damage to heavy and light vehicles has been increased, and as always, it decimates large groups of infantry. I will put the stipulation there that your howitzer is probably... It, it, either your howitzer is the best or it's tied with the railgun for being the best turret when paired with a transformer. Because that extra fire rate is vital for dealing... Because the only chances you have to deal damage to enemies with the howitzer is when they're outside your perimeter. So you want to get as many shots in as possible before that happens. Now, since I can't rely on my machine gun tours to deal my damage towards air, and specifically for the update with Reapers, I have added a flak gun to help deal a lot more group damage to the Reapers. Because without a flak gun, even with tons of machine gun turrets in a base, you are guaranteed to get two freebies. I have my... Reapers split into two groups of five, because I haven't upgraded my my platoon capacity yet. Two groups of five, 
and I know that I can one-hit kill a level 5 defense platform with 5 reapers. So that's 2 freebies. You have to guard against them getting more than 2 freebies. They will get 2 freebies. You just have to make sure they only get 2. Um, and railguns, I added another one of those because since we're going to see a lot more tank fronts guarding S13s, I believe that busting those tanks is going to be more important than ever. Even though the splash damage has been reduced, dealing damage to those tanks is really, really important. Okay, something else that has come into key focus now that a lot of people don't realize in your defense is your defending platoon. Before, it was kind of a afterthought, like helicopters were always nice to have, but your tanks, I mean, what good did they really do? And your infantry, pff, what a joke. Okay, but now they can actually make or break your defense. So if we think on the most basic idea of the enem of what I said before about the Reapers being two free hits, if you're wanting your defense platforms to be the most of your defense, you want to at least make your defending troops look scary. Like, put a couple Abrams in your war factory. That's going to make your attacker want to use one of his Reaper strikes against your war factory. So, if you make him use both his Reaper strikes against your war factory and or helipad and or barracks, that's defense platforms that, that he hasn't attacked. Now, I've tried to set mine up in a general way where when he takes his two freebie attacks, hopefully no matter what he picks, it won't be that big of a difference any way around. So my idea behind my defending units is the Abrams deploys first out of my war factory. Since it, with its upgraded health, it is a amazing force to be reckoned with. It does do a lot of damage, 251 per second. I believe it fires like one shot every three seconds. So every three seconds, it's dealing five, uh, 750 damage. That's a lot. Uh, but I have it geared up. Uh, let's look at the actual deploy times. Come on. Okay, there we go. Defenders. Come on. Okay, the Abrams is a long deploy time. So 16 seconds, and after that I have my S13 set to deploy at 12 second increments. They are faster. The idea of this is hopefully the Abrams will deploy, and it will still be alive in time to be a bit of a shield for my S13s to, w to come in and deal a little burst damage against whatever unit they can attack. So the key thing here is a 16 second deploy time for the Abrams. The helicopters are also 16 seconds. So, deploys at the same time as the Abrams is going to be a bit faster. Hopefully, it'll be able to do a little bit of damage. I did put them further behind, so hopefully, the Abrams will still be able to be a bit of a meat shield. Now, if we go back and look at the infantry, the infantry is, of course, the least useful kind of. It is useful in defending against helicopter attacks. Like I said, helicopters are now, Cobras specifically, are now the platoon build of choice. You build an entire platoon of helicopters, wreck the base. There's not much flak can even do against that. You know what, I'm actually going to reconfigure this because I don't have it done right. I want my Abrams to be able to be a meat shield for these guys. Oh wow, I have not upgraded my defender capacity and it only takes 55,000 metal. That's awful of me. I am so sorry. Oof. Okay, so yeah, I'm let's see how much this costs. Not too much. This costs a bit more. Okay, yeah, I'm going to upgrade that for too long, but as you can see my basis behind my defending units is my Abrams gets deployed as soon as possible for my other units to hopefully stack behind. And that's going to hope because if you can deal some group damage 
or a little bit of damage to all the enemy units before they even reach your base, that that's just even less damage that your defense tours have to deal. Uh, and my landmines, I of course incorporate my landmines into my defense to try and block off choke points because obviously this toward out here is a little bit of a weak spot. This one especially is a weak spot, so I made sure to put my landmines there. And I only use anti-vehicle landmines because no one really uses large groups of infantry. And if they do use infantry, it's always behind vehicles anyway, so, you know, la di da di da um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what y'all think about that. Like I said, this is kind of based on theory. In a few days after I've experienced some more attacks, I'll, let, I'll probably post another video where I watch a couple successful and unsuccessful attacks and say whether I like it or whether I think I was a complete moron when I was thinking of this. Alright, so, upcoming videos. Man, I've been looking at the strongholds and I did get a request on one of my videos to make a video for the helicopter slash fixed wing strongholds and man I looked at that stronghold it is ridiculous I will say if I had an entire platoon of helicopters I think I could do it because um, there's only three there's only three flak turrets and one of them is extremely low level so I could just whack to the two first flak turrets and then wreck it with helicopters and it wouldn't be that big of a deal but I only have five helicopters or maybe I have six now I think I have enough to build another one yeah and I also want to apologize man all I've noticed going through here all my units are low level my defenses are low level one level one I've been focusing too much on doing attacks and whatnot to try and get videos out and I have actually fallen far behind for my level. I'm level 31, I have high level buildings, but when you look at my units and my defenses, they don't really stack up. <laughs> I have level 7 S13s, level 4 Abrams. Level 4 Abrams is decent. Um, level 7 Reapers. Anyway, yeah, like I said, just low level. I apologize for that. I am going to be working hard in the coming this weekend trying to level these things up so yeah uh, oh man those strongholds though they're tough I, I tried attacking an infantry stronghold yesterday and to be perfectly honest for the first little while it was just kicking my butt I did eventually get one beat but it was so inefficient I, I can't post a video on how to beat it because it was really inefficient um anyway so I'm going to have to be creative with what my next videos are going to be. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. But until next time, have an awesome day.